we're getting those AI features even on the S24 and the S24 Plus. All that and what's new with Samsung's new devices we're talking about in this video. Good day, you beautiful people. Welcome to the Tech, where we do tech in your life in style. The S24 series is here and it includes three devices, the S24, S24 Plus, and the S24 Ultra. We already have a video on the S24 Ultra and all the AI things it can do. And if you haven't seen it already, I'll link it up here and down below. In this video, we're taking a look at the S24 and the S24 Plus to see just what's new, what it can do, what my favorite AI features on this phone are, and we're even doing a quick camera tour. Without further ado, the new phones. So what's actually new? First off, they're all powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, which is the flagshipest of them all when it comes to chipsets right now. And it doesn't matter what phone you get from this series, you can get the S24, the S24 Plus, or the S24 Ultra, and you're gonna get the same processor. Another upgrade, and specifically on the S21 Plus though, is that it now has double the RAM. Screen-wise, you're getting a slightly better screen on both phones. And the thing is, these screens are now brighter. On the S24 Plus, that's also a Quad HD Plus display now. Your we're also getting more battery on both phones. 4,000 milliamp hours on the new S24 when the previous S23 had 3,900 and 4,900 milliamp hours on the S24 Plus when the previous S23 Plus had 4,700. According to Samsung, that's 5% more efficient power consumption because of the new chipset and the better cooling system. These phones are also social media optimized and Samsung also partnered with Instagram to make sure that we're getting good social media posts. Good for According to Samsung, they're opening up and allowing social media companies to utilize camera hardware on their apps now, which is great because you know how when you're on Android, you don't really get great quality photos and videos when you shoot, for example, via Instagram. This is because for a lot of Android phones, social media apps just basically take a screenshot of what they see on their screen. So that being the case, if you go on Instagram, for example, and shoot an Instagram story using the Instagram camera app, you are opening the camera but you're not necessarily taking video from the camera app. You've opened the camera and Instagram is just screen recording what's already on your screen and posting that screen recording to your social media. But Samsung says on these devices that shouldn't be the case because the fact that they're now allowing social media apps to utilize the camera hardware means that you'd be able to use all the different features that the cameras have in the camera app on social media. So that means better social media posts overall and the social media optimization will be available on top social media platforms and finally and that's pretty cool you get seven years of updates on these new phones good job Okay, so obviously the big thing at this year's phone launch would be AI. And Samsung is calling this Galaxy AI. I'm happy to know that these AI features are also coming to the base S24 and the S24 Plus. And even better, Galaxy AI is coming to even more devices including older devices. Expect that to roll out later on. Now, what exactly can Galaxy AI do? Thank you for asking. My favorite features include one circle to search. Now, this is pretty cool because this means that you can search up any keyword, for example, on your browser find a photo, encircle anything on that photo, and AI will be able to search for whatever it is you've encircled. This also works for in real life things. All you need to do is open your camera. You don't even need to take a photo. You can just tap the AI button and then encircle and voila, you get the info. I tried this myself with my Osmo Pocket and it did pull up the same exact camera. This feature is really impressive and I can think up so many use cases for this. Like I could find the impeccably well-dressed person walking outside and I don't even need to take a photo. I just scan their shoes and I know what shoes those are. You also get photo editing features like photo assist, which if you think about it, isn't really new. We've seen AI photo editing on 
other smartphones. It's still always pretty cool to see like you can remove glare or shadows on your face. What really impressed me though is the generative AI features for photos on this phone. Okay, so for example, you can select subjects, move them around in the photo. You can select subjects, delete them from the photo. And this is something I'm gonna be using a lot because for some reason I can't take level photos. You can rotate photos and have the AI fill in those blanks that happened on the side it's because you rotated the photo. With the tap of a button, AI fixes everything. Aside from all of that, this phone can also auto transcribe voice recordings, which actually would have been useful today because I did ask someone from the briefing about features and I just ended up recording a very sad video of this conversation just so I had a copy of it and then I had to come back to my room actually to transcribe everything and then summarize it for my script but with Galaxy AI you won't even have to do all of those things you can record audio and it will transcribe it it'll be able to summarize it and when AI is done making this audio interview a whole text note you can again use AI to auto format it or even translate it the translating also works when you're chatting with someone or when you're on a call these are just some of the AI features, my personal favorites, but if you want to know more about these features, I did talk more about them in my Galaxy S24 Ultra video. Right, so our hands-on with the S23 Plus and the S23. This is the... Wait, these are both S23 Pluses. Pluses. I'm confused. Give me a second. I got confused. Okay, so S23 Plus, S23, obviously it's smaller. As you guys know, I prefer this size. And <laughs> this is the same color, different sizes. Again, I like this size better. It fits my hands better, but with a Plus, you get a bigger screen and a bigger battery. So the quick hands-on, let's do it with the base model because again, <laughs> it just it fits my hands better. Top, that's clean with the sides on here the bottom gives you the sim tray and the usb-c port this right side gives you a volume rocker and an unlock button that is a clean matte back and you see the flat sides of this phone as well punch hole camera and the same three rear cameras on the back camera time so the cameras on these phones learn as you take photos you already know it samsung uses cognitive ai to make everything better and this means according to samsung you're getting better photo output even without that hardware upgrade both the s24 and the s24 plus features a 50 megapixel main shooter with ois a 12 megapixel wide and a 10 megapixel telephoto camera with three times optical zoom on the back and up front that's a 12 megapixel selfie camera let's do a quick camera Camera tour. Right, I have the S24 Plus and it's time for that camera tour. We have a wide 1x, 3x up until 30x on photos, back to wide. Up here you have settings, timer, size. You can also shoot in 50 megapixels or 12 megapixels. On this camera, you have your motion photo and then you get different filters and even a face filter on the rear camera. Now on the right, you get your video, you can do wide, 1x 3x up until 12x on video back to wide and you also have your steady mode you can shoot up until 8k with the rear cameras and you can do 30 fps 4k 30 or 60 and full hd 30 or 60. under more you have all the other fun features expert draw pro mode pro video mode food mode portrait video of course and then let's get back to video and see What's up? Here, can you zoom in or out? No, you cannot, but you can shoot up until 4K 60 FPS with the selfie cameras. Now you have photo and you have wide and well, 1X, wide 1X. You also have portrait on here, which does the same zooms and you can also change the blurs in the back. And that was our first look at the S24 and the S24 Plus. Emphasis on first look because I still would have wanted more time with these phones, but the time we had shooting was pretty limited. That being said, stay tuned for more content on these phones. Let me know what you want to see. If you want to see a camera vlog test or a social media test, comment down below. Now, I would usually go for the smaller S series device, mostly because I like smaller phones. But with this year's upgrades, I think I'm going to be checking out the S24 Plus instead. Also, the fact that we're not 
not only getting AI features just on the Ultra devices, we're getting them on the S24 and the S24 Plus. And even better that we're getting them on older devices. I love that for us. That's it for today. If you want to see how I use my tech on a daily basis, find me online. That's Isa does underscore on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Until next time.